Got off the train. We're in Paris now. Yo, what's going on, guys? So I'm in Paris now with my mom, actually. We're at Gallery Lafayette right now, and today's been super hectic, so I haven't really been able to vlog too much, but um, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, and I'll kind of explain what's been going on, so I'll see you guys then. All right, good morning, everyone. So today's day two in Paris. Yesterday was a pretty hectic day, so I didn't end up doing any vlogging, but today I'm gonna be doing a lot more. We're gonna be going to a bunch of different places to do sightseeing again today, We're going through some shops, so it's gonna be really fun. And the weather has actually held off really well so far, which is nice, so it hasn't been raining or anything. It's just been cold. The location of the hotel that we're staying at too is also really nice. The Louvre is actually right around the corner. I'll show you guys the view in a second, but um, yeah, yesterday was super hectic, so I just couldn't pull the camera out that much. Got some footage that I'll put at the beginning of this video that you guys will see um, but basically we just arrived midday at like 12 and then did some shopping went to gallery lafayette twice actually it's a huge store you could honestly spend like a week in there we also went to a couple of nice little restaurants to have some meals so i think for today's locations we're going to be going to do a bit of shopping by champs elysees and also avenue montaigne i know that chrome hearts has a flagship on avenue montaigne so i definitely want to check that out i'll hopefully get some footage there for you guys i know that they are pretty finicky about filming at chrome hearts but um, i'll try to get some anyway the last time i was in paris was like two or three years ago now and I remember also on Champs-Élysées at the end, there's the Arc de Triomphe, which is really cool, especially when it's good weather, you can see really far around the city. So um, I really hope that we can do that again today too. And then I know that my mom's also got some shops that she wants to go to, so we're gonna definitely go to those as well. I also forgot to mention that there's actually a strike going on right now. We were actually supposed to end up leaving Paris um, on the Thursday, but I guess that's the day that this strike is going on. So. Um, we might be here over the weekend, uh, but we're just gonna have to see how things go and how fast they can get the transit systems back up. So quickly, I'll just show you guys what the view looks like in this hotel. So right around there is where the Louvre is, and then it's got like a Ferris wheel there too. There's a little bit of a fair going on, but yeah. Streets are just getting started this morning in Paris. Now we're gonna walk down through the Jardin de Tulier, I believe is what it's called, right mom? Yep, that's right. Yeah, and then we're gonna make our way over to Avenue Montaigne and Champs-Élysées and do a bit of sightseeing and walking around there too, so that should be fun. So I guess they got a little Christmas market here too, all set up, or not a market, but uh, what'd you call it? Uh, carnival? Yeah, like a carnival. So lots of rides and stuff, and we're just walking through the Jardin de Tulier now. It's a little bit earlier right now, so there's not too many people here yet, so it's nice and peaceful to be able to walk through. Being in Paris, it's always hard to do things quickly because there's so many nice places to take pictures, so that's what we're doing right now in the Jardin de Tulier. From the hotel, you can see this wheel behind me as well, the Ferris wheel. It looks like a super cool place to get a view at night, so maybe we'll go do that later. All right, we just got to Avenue Montaigne, so we're getting close. All the stores are decorated for Christmas right now and it just looks amazing. All right, we're just pulling out to Chrome Hearts right now. This is a new model that they just got in last week. I really like this. 
this one. All right, successful trip to Chrome Hearts Paris. Running across the street right now. Got a couple of things. And yeah, gonna get some lunch now. This line is crazy. All right, so we just finished a really nice lunch on Champs-Élysées and now we're gonna go check out the Arc de Triomphe. The last time I was there was like three years ago now and the view is definitely worth waiting in the line for it, so really looking forward to it again. Dior is decorated super nicely for Christmas as well. What do you think, Mom? I love it. <laughs> I forgot that to get to the Arc de Triomphe, you have to go down these stairs, so you have to go underground for a bit. All right, so we're walking up the stairs now. It's a pretty long walk, actually, just spiral stairs, so try not to get dizzy. This is just like some video explaining the history behind the Ark. It says that it was completed in 1836. Alright, so we just finished at the Arc de Triomphe and now we're gonna go check out a place that my mom really wants to see which is called the Grand Palais. On this side of the street is the Grand Palais, and on this side of the street is the Petit Palais. We're just in the science section of the Grand Palais. It's pretty interesting, actually. Alright, so we've done so many things today that we're both feeling pretty sore now, so we're gonna go get some rest back at the hotel and then maybe go get some dinner later somewhere. Alright, what's good guys? So I'm just in my hotel room right now in Paris and I just wanted to quickly go through the stuff that I've picked up so far on this trip. I've only picked up a few things but they are things that I really wanted to get so I'm really excited to show them to you guys. So the first store that I visited in Paris was Galerie Lafayette. And this was my first time going in. Heard a little bit about it but I was not expecting the selection that it had. The store is insane, the selection is unreal and uh, I did manage to find a brand that I'm pretty excited to pick up. I did pick up this Satisfy tank top. Satisfy is like a running brand and so this this is like a moth-eaten tank top. Um, I've had a few pieces from them in the past and I really like it. It's just got a bit of detailing on it. Um, and this is just something that I can wear during the summer. If I finish with a run or something, I can just chuck it on um, and have a bit of breathability with the moth-eaten holes. That's what it's supposed to do. It's the ventilation system. Just a super basic pickup that I'm really excited about. It's this white color. It's just a nice essential to have for the summer if I go on like workouts or go on runs and things like that. And then, the next thing that I picked up I'm really excited about. The next place that I picked some stuff up at is Chrome Hearts on Avenue Montaigne. So I guess this is their holiday bag, so it's this red bag right here. The Chrome Hearts store in Paris is unreal. It's really cool how they do the selection with the iPad. I've been to the Chrome Hearts in New York and they didn't really have all that many um, like t-shirts or caps to choose from, but this uh, store in Paris had a ton of selection. You can just go on the iPad and look at all their inventory and then ask the employees to bring it out for you. And just some of the jackets and outerwear that they had in the store too, as well as the jewelry was unreal. I sold a couple of my trucker hats recently, so I definitely wanted to pick one back up. And the one that I went for is this red one. It's just the standard trucker hat, but um, I really, really like the style. Um, I always think that it's super clean and I just like the way they fit. And I just bought a black denim jacket too. It's at my house in Vancouver and I just think that it'll look really clean um, with a black denim jacket. So really happy to pick this up. As I said, it's just the standard Chrome Hearts trucker cap. And then something else that I'm really excited about is this Chrome Hearts uh, long sleeve that I picked up. It's got a bit of detailing on the sleeves right here. And then also the reason why I bought it, it says Chrome Arts Paris Avenue Montaigne on the back. 
I just wanted to get a shirt that was a little bit significant for my trip um, and so picking one up that says Avenue Montaigne in Paris was definitely something that I wanted to do and yeah it's just a nice simple black long sleeve that I can wear in the summer again so obviously these pickups haven't really been oriented towards winter which is what time it is right now um, but yeah just getting started on summer a little bit early I guess It's a French restaurant around our hotel, and I got a burger for the first time in super long, so I'm excited to try it. Wow, it's so good. 